We take great pride in being, you know, an extension of Rosenden, you know, with the communities that we work in. And, um, you know, we want to be there. We want to be there for the communities. We want to set that example, right? We want to be an extension of Rosenden in all those job sites and offices that we are, right? We're not just the Texas or California or Oregon organization, right? We support everywhere we are. We support things that our employees want to support, right? We don't want to just be some organization that says, hey, we're going to donate money here, we're going to donate money here. We want to support, you know, these places and things that are people who are going to spend their time, you know, actually, you know, giving time to, right? If they're volunteering, if they're spending their own money to help, that's important to us. Uh, I joined the foundation basically because I, I already do what I can, where I can in uh, my local community and with uh, the union or where a part of. In doing that, uh, it was an opportunity to bridge gaps uh, with the National Foundation to bring the funds where I know that it's, it's really needed uh, and in the community of which I live and work. In walking to a job site or talking with uh, coworkers and other trades on the job site, uh, and they often have upwards of 500 people uh, on any given job at any given time, we get to know each other, we know our problems, we know uh, the things that we're facing uh, outside of work. And a lot of times uh, those problems are family and personally oriented. And if we're able to provide an avenue where they can get help. We actively encourage people to get involved when, where, and how they can. Uh, not everybody is in a, a position to where they can help, but sometimes they can give their time. Sometimes they can be a, uh, an ear to listen to. Our, our local communities, our nation is divided in a million different ways, um, but there are 10 million different ways that we can come together and, and grow. Hello everybody, my name is Jolsna Thomas and I'm the president of the Rosedon Foundation. As Jonathan just shared with you, a lot of the Rosedon Foundation is about building community. And that truly is the ethos or the spirit of the Rosedon Foundation. It is to build an inclusive community. We do that by utilizing the core values of Rosedon. And you may be wondering, well, how can I be a part of this inclusive community building? Well, it's really easy. It's sharing your time, your talents, and your treasure. And we give you a variety of ways to do that. One, it's by volunteering, whether it be in any of our internal committees, such as communications, finance, fundraising, or grant making, or participating in our annual day of service. Whether it be packaging and distributing food, whether it be working in community gardens, or whether it was actually helping a veteran to rebuild his home. The second thing that you can do is to educate and grow yourself. Follow us on our social media. Learn and use your ears to really listen to our local communities. You know, we started this foundation in 2020, not really knowing exactly what we were doing, but knowing that we wanted to do good. And we figured out a platform of utilizing an annual grants process, as well as having emergency grants. We received over 180 applications from 180 different nonprofit organizations throughout resident and MPS's jurisdiction, all needing funds. They actually needed over $5 million. We were able to support 75 of those organizations, giving grants up to about almost $400,000. We gave out $115,000 in emergency grants. We're young, we're new. We honestly just don't have that much money. So I have a call to action for you, and it's a three-pronged call to action. One, donate your time, your talent, your treasure. Two, Reach out to the world outside of Rosen and educate them about the needs of our community. Try to get our vendors, our customers, and our industry partners to support the Rosen Foundation through annual sponsorships and any other way that we can help build this community for us. And three, please like, subscribe, and follow the Rosen Foundation. Thank you.